Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get epic wallpapers for your PC. Now wallpapers are important when it comes to your gaming setup because I feel like it helps to tie in whatever theme it is you're trying to pull off. They can make or break a setup. And for years I just used to search for wallpapers on Google and then set whatever image I found as my background, as I'm sure a lot of you guys probably still do. But there's a much easier and cooler way, I always get comments asking where I get my wallpapers so I figured I'd make a video about it. So I get my wallpapers by using a program called Wallpaper Engine. Now this video is not sponsored by Wallpaper Engine, but it is sponsored by Ivacy VPN. If you want to check them out, link is in the description. I did a video about them a couple of months back if you are looking for a very reasonably priced VPN that not only does the job of protecting your privacy, but also has a ton of extra features to go with it. You might want to give it a try, link in the description. Anyway, back to the video. So Wallpaper Engine, it's a piece of software that you can purchase on Steam. It's $2.99, I mean, it's basically free. And for such a cheap piece of software, it's absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best things I've ever purchased. So whatever it is you're interested in or whatever theme it is you're trying to go for, there will be a wallpaper for it on Wallpaper Engine. I'm proper into the Cyberpunk Neo Tokyo kind of theme at the moment, so I've got a few of those wallpapers going on. And you've probably noticed they're animated as well, which is absolutely awesome. I don't know of any other way to animate wallpapers on your PC, but it breathes some life into what would otherwise just be a static image and makes it feel like a window into another world. And the fact they're animated opens up a whole range of new possibilities in terms of features. For example, you can have a clock on your desktop which displays the current time. There's tons of really cool ones, some of them are just simple digital clocks overlaid on top of an image. You can get analog clocks, flip clocks and even rotating ones that not only tell the time but serve as a cool wallpaper in and of themselves. Now the fact that this is a piece of software also means that you can get audio responsive music visualizers. Basically, some of the wallpapers will take audio from whatever's playing on your computer and turn it into a visual light show. Again, there's a huge selection to choose from, some of them are more like a traditional graphic equalizer, while others incorporate the reactive music function into the wallpaper itself. But yeah, they're really cool. And the majority of wallpapers are pretty customizable as well. You can mess about with colour schemes, how sensitive it is to music, the playback rate of the animation, some of them even have support for Corsair's IQ software. Now a little tip when looking for wallpapers, there are three main types from what I can tell, web, videos and scenes. If it says web, it means it probably has a clock or music visualizer incorporated into it. If it says video, it's literally a video that plays on a loop. If it says scene, it means it's animated in one way or another. My favorite type are definitely the scenes. They're the ones that seem to have the most animation and particle effects. I don't like the idea of running a video constantly in the background. It seems pretty resource heavy and I don't like the fact that most of them are into the hundreds of megabytes to download compared to scenes which tend to be only a few megabytes. And I also don't think that videos look that sharp in terms of quality. The web type wallpapers are awesome as well to be fair, I use them quite a bit, but they do tend to be simpler. For example, some of them look more like just a normal wallpaper with a stock music visualizer and clock stuck on top of it, with not much going on in terms of animation. But nonetheless, they're still really cool and there's a lot of super creative ones out there, and actually some wallpapers that are classed as web also feature heavy animation and could kind of be classed as a scene as well, but anyway, that's just a rough guide to the types of wallpapers you'll come across. It's also dead easy to find wallpapers because the search function is really good. You can filter wallpaper types, resolutions, tags and genres. And if you go into the workshop tab, which is where anyone can submit their wallpapers, you'll literally find hundreds and hundreds of pages of wallpapers for any given genre. There's also a voting system so you can give your favourite wallpapers a thumbs up and the star rating helps show you what others thought of the wallpaper that you're about to download. You download a wallpaper by hitting subscribe, it'll then automatically apply and appear in your installed tab and if you want to delete it at any point you just click unsubscribe. It's a very simple system and you can easily choose which monitor you want to apply a wallpaper on. There's also a ton of universal settings that you can mess about with including quality, playback frame rate, all of which will affect how much system resources are being used. But the whole program is designed to be as lightweight as possible and comes with features that will for example pause a wallpaper when you're using an application full screen so it's not needlessly doing stuff in the background. So yeah, it's really smart and even though I have four screens running animated wallpapers, it barely eats up any system resources and I certainly haven't noticed it ever causing any lag or anything like that. There's a reason Wallpaper Engine has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and that's because it's one of those rare things in life that hardly cost anything but does everything. 
If you've never tried it, definitely give it a go. It's the same price as a coffee and you'll have an unlimited supply of epic wallpapers. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the time to show you all the epic wallpapers in this one video, but if you guys want to see like a top 10 or top 50 wallpapers of the month type video, let me know. I'll be happy to make one. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like rating and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one.